another episode of Becoming Zion. This is going to be episode two of the third season. So welcome back. And uh, we're getting to some serious things today uh, because there's been a lot going on in the media. It's been a lot going on in, you know, government as far as the U.S. goes. So if you are in the U.S. and you haven't been hearing about all of the things going on with trans folks, um, yeah, uh, lucky you. But also, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to talk about it today. So I'm gonna talk about some of the things that have been going on. I'm gonna talk about how I feel about it. I'm gonna talk about, you know, we're gonna pull back the curtain a little bit and talk about what's really going on because a lot of this stuff is like like fake concern, fake outrage, um, and just like wh why are we creating bills um, around who um, can take med like wh like why are you limiting people's access to medicine, um, access to healthcare, access to, you know, source of life really. But uh, anyway, just before we get into everything, just want to let you know, my name is Zion, pronouns he and him, because normalized pronouns, and uh, and this is my podcast. I talk about things from spirituality to my trans identity to my black identity to um, how those intersectionalities exist in the world and how the world interacts with those intersectionalities as well. So um, as far as the song of the podcast, though, I know you heard Cozy at the beginning, um, we always like to support black business. We like to support black moguls. We like to support black trans people. Um, you know, Cozy has a sample from T.S. Madison, who is a black trans woman. Uh, so we, we love that. Go ahead and get her her royalties. Um, but also uh, it has Beyonce, who is a black woman who has dedicated her album to the queer community. And a lot of people have feel, feel a lot of ways about Beyonce because, I mean, of course you do <laughs> she doesn't have an opinion about you but <laughs> everybody got an opinion about her but um i do i do love beyonce one of the podcast is cozy because well literally like i feel like all black trans people all black queer people need to be comfortable in their skin because literally you know we are revolutionary we are the future like the future is being you know fluid the, the future is flowing with everything and not being so constricted to such a binary way of living but um a lot of people don't understand that a lot of people want the values that they had back in the 50s and the values that they had back in the whatever time they grew up they wanted to apply to the current times but we are in a different time we're in a different era and there are a different group of people that exist and live in the world and we have to learn how to coexist with people um i think that that's where it's lacking a lot of the times because why are you impeding on someone's like medical rights um you know they're not impeding on yours i think a lot of people just just are are followers that's the issue the media is creating an agenda like so you know how people like oh, be like oh there's like a gay agenda or, or like a trans agenda there's an agenda there is a gay and trans agenda but it's not from the gay and trans people and it's not from the queer community it's from the government it's from like schools it's from all this stuff like all these systematic things and organizations the the rhetoric in the agenda is from them they're trying to make trans people not exist they're trying to make it make being trans not normal at the end of the day i'm a human so that's the most normal thing that that i can be literally let's get into some of the things that have been happening um within america and stuff like that that i want to discuss within this podcast so the topic of this podcast is that the government within america and I'm honestly everywhere but mostly america because we're a fucking joke clearly like the the government here is a fucking like reality tv show it's not real it's fake it's all based on you know ulterior motives it's all based in money it doesn't have any concern for the actual people who live in this country other than white cishet people and the point of this podcast is i want to talk about how trans people were being used as political pawns we have an election coming up 
we have a presidential election coming up. These smaller elections matter a lot as well. As you can see, all these bills coming up and popping up and stuff, it's because of these votes that a lot of people just didn't, you know, a lot of these uh, elections that people weren't, you know, focused on the smaller ones. These, those are the ones that matter. That's why all these states have these people in office where they're making these bills and shit like that to, you know, ban, you know, gender affirming care or limit gender affirming care. This is happening in states like Tennessee, Florida, South Carolina, Oklahoma. They're introducing, and some of them are passing, bills that are limiting or completely banning gender affirming care for youth. And, and I'm going to say youth because when people think youth, people think, oh, you're letting like kids get trans surgeries and you're letting kids get... No, they're banning like gender affirming care for adults. Once I turn 18, what the fuck goes on in my life has nothing to do with one, anybody, period. That's the government, that's my friends, that's my family. When I go to the doctor and talk to my doctor about what the fuck I got going on, it don't have nothing to do with you. It don't have nothing to do with the government. It don't have nothing to do with schools. It don't have nothing to do with kids. It don't have no, like none of that. The fuck ain't no kid sitting in the office with me while I'm going to get my fucking tea prescription. And a lot of you weirdos think that people are like, think that like kids are easily influenced. I will admit kids are super easily influ influenced. They're numbskulls. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who grew up in queer households and are straight. There are people who grew up in straight households and are gay. There are people who grew up in cis households and are trans. That where you grow up it's a part of how you like of who you become but you are who you are regardless and i think that's where people get things messed up because everything has to be an agenda just because it's different it has to be an agenda no it's just different and it might make you turn the cogs in your mind a little bit and consider like hey there are different people out here like doing different things than me yeah i think that is a healthy thing and that's something that is needed in this world because we are different and we need to stop trying to fit into this mold because i don't want to walk around here with a bunch of people who look the fucking same act the same listen to the same music like dress the same all that kind of stuff like i don't i don't want to be surrounded by clones and i'm good on that so i think that you know having people who are different uh being embraced in the world is such a necessary thing in order to move forward like as a society in a unified way and you know a lot of these politicians and a lot of people in government and a part of these systems they want you to be separated because if you're like the more separation there is you get to turn to this this quote-unquote higher power for a solution um in this government for a solution when they don't these motherfuckers don't live like us they don't live like us. These politicians make a lot of money. Their whole life is ran by money. Their opinion that you see on TV and you see on the internet, that ain't their opinion. They were paid to say that. And like, that's why I think, that's why the, I don't know what I'm gonna name this podcast. It might be something like, you know, trans people are used as political pawns or whatever, but it, you know, it, we are. We're just used, we're just being like used our rights are being taken advantage of and being altered like in the public eye to make a point to for so these people can, can get votes and shit like that but yeah so it, it's an issue for me um and i and i definitely had to speak on it because it's just like it affects me for one but also i see it see a lot of the people agreeing with some of the fuck shit that's going on being black and looking like me so i'm like so I have to talk about this because a lot of black people, let me talk to my black people for a second. And like, I was going to go down and talk about this after I got into some of the things, but I do want to talk about this first. Like I was saying, black people, I mean, uh, trans people are being used as political pawns, especially black trans people. So a majority of the people, I'm not going to say a majority, I'm going to say a lot of black people, a lot of black people are transphobic. Or homophobic or they at least allow the people around them uh to be homophobic be transphobic and it's normalized my issue is a lot of y'all don't acknowledge that there are black trans people or you acknowledge that there are black trans or black queer people but they they not your people they're they they're they're one of those they're those and there's these and those and they're those like so they're other <laughs> 
my thing is stop trying to make transphobia homophobia black culture like it's literally is what i call it and i'm gonna coin it in this episode here because i've been i've been speaking about it like on my other platforms but i'm gonna coin it right here it's called the punch down olympics now the punch down olympics is literally just think about it you got black people punching down on black queer people black gay people you know being homophobic whatever then you have black queer people punching down on black trans people (laughs) and then you know you even have intersectionalities of black trans people punching down on other black trans people so it's just you know the punch down olympics everybody who's oppressed you don't have to oppress somebody else it ain't gonna make you less less oppressed like so why and then and then oppressing your own people is dumb I don't care if you don't consider trans people or, or or queer people your people. If they're black, they're your people, and that's how you should see it. And that's the issue with us. That's the issue with black people is that we don't want to unify. We would rather judge somebody uh, within our community, make fun of them, rather than stand behind them and be like, yo, don't, don't mess with my people because you don't want to be seen a certain way. Like, if you're confident in who you are and you weren't such a fucking follower, you wouldn't, like, be concerned about how people see you.